to maximize the <laughs> Maximize, <audience>. exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm Kunal Sen. And the project that we started was uh, led by Carlos Gradin, Simone Scotti, Piotr, Piotr Leodonsky, and myself. Carlos is chairing a different session right now. That's why he's not here. Um, but this project was really based a lot on what we're going to hear today in the, in the annual lecture, which is what's happening is that if you look at the US in particular, but also some of the European countries, we've seen this polarization of jobs and earnings uh, happening over time. And of course, the question is, why is that happening over time? And in, in the US, it has been quite remarkable, the increase in earnings inequality the last 20, 20 odd years. And the one reason, one argument has been put forward is what is called routine bias technological change, which is what you're seeing is that occupations we need, which are involving routine tasks are slowly being automated away. Think of clerical workers, think of factory workers, increasingly seeing automation coming in those areas, while we see less of that happening in the more, in the kind of occupation which needs creative uh, cognitive skills, the upper end of the distribution of occupation, and also perhaps even the lower end of the occupation distribution where you don't see routinization happening as much. Uh, think of, for example, uh, janitors. So that particular phenomenon that we observed in the US, the question was that, like, do we really see that happening in, in developing countries? And that's an important question because clearly routine bias technology change has very strong implications for in, on inequality, right? And of a different kind of implication than the early literature we had on skill by technological change. So there was a different implication which, was, which we saw in the US. Um, and so what we tried to do in this project is we decided to first understand the implication of routine bias technological change in a range of countries in, in Latin America, uh, uh, Africa and Asia. Uh, Middle East and Southern Africa, and also South and East Asia, and try to make sure that we do a comparative analysis. So we were very, very clear, and Simone <laughs> was very much involved in that, to use similar me measures, occupational, occupational tasks, uh, thinking about uh, also economic, economic methods, descriptive methods, so that we can kind of say, okay, from all the evidence we've got, we can say something about what we see happening in Latin America versus Africa versus Asia. Uh, both across space, but also over time. Because we will uh, we see, and some of the papers we see today, we see big changes happening in inequality in these countries for various reasons. So the, so the question, core question is that how important is routine bias technological change versus other, other drivers in inequality, earnings inequality? Skill, the skill premier institutions, political institutions, which is what Mohammed sp spoke about a little bit uh, earlier in this conference. So how can we kind of isolate the effect of our routine bias technology change from the other drivers of uh, this inequality? So we have three papers here uh, in this uh, session. We have first a paper which looks at the global, the global distribution of tasks. Sorry? And? And Ghana, sorry, yeah. Oh, oh sorry, you are talking Ghana. <laughs> All right, I got that wrong. So we have three country case studies then, okay? Three country case studies, uh, one on Ghana by Simone, one on Brazil from Sergio, and one from Argentina on, on Apollo. Right, so we have three case studies. Uh, so we have two Latin American, one uh, African. And I think you'll see what you'll see in this, I guess, is this, is this attempt to try to use similar methods and similar thinking about, uh, about routine wise technology change. So hopefully at the end of the session, you'll have a sense of also the big picture issues that are coming out, which I think also if you, well, it would be great to do that to you when all the presidents speak a little bit of the big picture question coming out from your presentations. All right, thanks. Mark.